Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November the 14th through to the 20th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Before we get started, I would like to wish any of you celebrating a birthday this week very, very happy birthday. Hope you have an awesome one. <laughs> So uh, let's get to your reading, Scorpio. Your overall energy is the High Priestess, followed then by the Ace of Cups in the upright. Next, we have the Two of Wands upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Star in the upright. And lastly, Major Arcana, the Fool in the upright. You have three Major Arcana here. Could be an intense week for my Scorps. Your overall energy is some hidden knowledge. <laughs> this is the high priestess in the upright position. There could be something going on behind the scenes, Scorpio, that you sense, that you feel it. I say this over and over again. It's not necessarily anything nefarious, although it can be. Um, sometimes, especially those of you perhaps uh, who, that are having a birthday this week, maybe there is something going on behind the scenes. It could be people that you know are planning a party for you, birthday party, or for others of you, it could be a, a surprise gift or something like that. Maybe you're hearing whispers in the background and you're wondering, maybe getting a little paranoid, wondering what's going on. Could be something like that, which is, you know, a good thing. Um... Scorpios don't, on the whole, care for secrets. Uh, Scorpios like to have everything, you know, transparency. And uh, if there's going to be any secrets going on, it's going to be Scorpio secrets. <laughs> but Scorpio does like um, does like to know what's happening, doesn't like that feeling of uh, having stuff going on behind your back. It's not a cool feeling. So um, there could be some of that. Maybe you're sensing it, you're feeling it, your water sign. Um, water signs generally are very intuitive. So if you're feeling or sensing something this week, uh, Scorpio, there probably is something going on. Just you can't always reach out and get an answer when it comes to the high priestess because it's hidden knowledge for a reason. For those of you who do practice meditation, this might be a good um, week to do so. For those of you who, um, you know, are good at getting in touch with your you know, inner feelings and, and, and having your radar go up and you kind of, Scorpios are pretty good at figuring things out, even things that are not being said or, or told to them. They, they're pretty good at figuring things out. So it could be that this week that that's what you're doing. If all else fails and you're just having a busy week and you're feeling this, just always go with your gut. That's what I say. Go with your gut feeling, your instincts about something. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the beautiful Ace of Cups in the upright position. Starting a week, Aces always usher in something new. So it's a, a brand new week, and it could be a week that you absolutely love with the Ace of Cups here. Sometimes the Ace of Cups can come about when uh, we're having an experience that sort of opens up the heart chakra. So, you know, maybe the birth of a child. It can be even perhaps some of you might be getting a new pet maybe this uh, week. Maybe you're getting a, a new puppy or a kitten for your birthday, something like that. But whatever is going on, it's a beautiful feeling, the Ace of Cups. It could be the beginning of a very serious relationship for some of you, perhaps um, uh, there's somebody that you've been casually dating. Maybe the relationship is taking a, a more serious turn. Your emotions are getting involved. Um, it could be even, you know, the realization of self-love where we realize just how important we are to treat ourselves uh, with great love and do the things you would do to a loved one. Do, do them for yourselves, you know. That's sometimes people ask me, what is self-love? What is that all about? It's about realizing your own self-worth and knowing that you are just as important as the people around you that you love and shower with, you know, attention and gifts and things like that. Sometimes it's important for us to do that for ourselves as well, which means maybe you want to, you know, appreciate, have a self-appreciation day, maybe take yourself to the spa or do some special things just for you, especially to it's Scorpio season. So it's a good time to splurge on yourself. <laughs> 
or uh, it could be somebody else's splurging on you as well and, and it's just overwhelming you with emotions next card up is the two of wands in the upright position this is one foot in the past one foot in the future but definitely future focused this uh this could be about contemplating especially perhaps maybe some of you have gone um, on a trip somewhere maybe you fell in love with a new location and you could be wanting to just leave the old location behind and relocate somewhere else this is contemplating something that is new and fun and exciting and passionate and you're contemplating maybe a move across the ocean it could be that you're thinking about going somewhere else it could be about um you know, even starting a business, maybe you start a business, it was just an idea at one point, and maybe yourself and a business partner decided to take it to the next level. And perhaps this is very progressive energy. This is where we've taken the initial idea and we're expanding on it. But it's time to, if you're thinking about or contemplating something about the future, it's time to start turning your back on the past and focusing in on what is making you feel happy, excited, whether it be a move, whether it be a career choice, or whether it be a relationship, it could be leaving something behind, the past behind to move into a more serious, heartfelt relationship. Whatever's going on here, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below because we do want to know what's happening here. So <laughs> moving on towards the weekend, we have the Aquarius energy, the star in the upright position, which is a, the star is a very beautiful energy. This is this is where we sort of feel things, but not necessarily is there anything going on around us to give us that hope and inspiration and faith it's something that comes from deep within it's really special when we have the high priestess here and this is is there as well because this is like maybe you are sensing something you're feeling something but it's remember this is also the wish card the major arcana's version of the wish card so there could be a wish unfolding for some of you perhaps for some of you it's a major move for others of you it's it's the opening of the heart it's a new relationship it's a love situation a child coming on the scene something that is really really opening your heart and it's giving you that optimism and that hope this is also a card that represents healing, great healing. We see maybe some of you are leaving the past behind that was painful and you're finally focusing in on what the world has to offer you now and you're leaving the, the painful past behind because the healing process is, is underway. Um, others of you, you're just really, really having the faith. You have the faith this week and you just sense it. You know it. You know that things are going to work out well. And the last card you have is the beautiful fool in the upright position. This is about taking that chance, that leap of faith. I've seen it a few times uh, in the Scorpio readings this year. It's like maybe half of the Scorpios have already taken that leap of faith. And maybe now coming towards the end of the year, it's the other half is taking it. Or perhaps um, the same Scorpios keep taking chances on different things, which is cool too. It makes life much more exciting but this is all about taking that leap of faith look at the yellow there that strong uh, solar plexus um, where we're feeling the confidence here so whatever it is we're jumping into we already feel very confident about it we know it's going to work out well to have this um, following the star right there's the star here so this is about having the faith to take that leap of, of faith right this is Definitely just knowing that this is the right thing to do because it's based in the Ace of Cups. It's based in uh, opening of the heart. It's based in love. Anything based in love usually, whether we love a place, whether we love a child, whether we love a romantic partner, anything based in love, especially when it's that pure love or love, self-love, it's it's like it can't go wrong because it's coming from such a good place. Um, there's nothing stronger or more durable, I think, than actual pure love. So it looks like you're moving towards something. You have faith in it. That's why you're ready to take this leap of faith here. So you, uh, this looks like a terrific, terrific week. I really hope it resonates for each and every one of you. It's like 
even though you may not know what's going on, maybe you're sensing something is going on, maybe you're sensing a big change, and you're ready to jump in with with this, you know. Such good cards here, Scorpio. Really glad to see it for you. And uh, I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.